Thank you very much for joining me this morning. Uh, I believe it is it is it is about seven, so I'm just um, trying to see that we have um, enough people so that we can get started. Um, here in Alberta, it's about seven six fifty nine, and I know in Zambia it's about fifteen hours. Uh, first of all, we I, I have to explain why I am getting involved in this matter in this way. Um, the main the main reason, of course, is. Um, because of the importance that this matter has in terms of in terms of liberties, so over the the, the Hichilema issue, we cannot uh, we we cannot ignore it and say it's just going to slide. It can't it can't slide. Um, the last time we did our uh, we went live. Uh, some have said that we were not answering some of the questions. I did not answer some of the questions that were raised and today I am ready to answer and I want to um, uh, see that I read or I read all the questions. Um, the, 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 the most important thing here and we have we have even seen the Archbishop of of the Catholic Church, Archbishop Telesforum Pundu, who has just issued a statement today and his concerns are that Zambia is likely to slide into a dictatorship. And the Catholic Church are quite outspoken about, about that, and I agree with them. Um, that if we do not um, speak out, if we don't speak up, we are likely to slide into, into a dictatorship. Because being a dictatorship is not, is not an event, it's a process. Uh, it is where it starts. And, and, and before you realize it, you've already slid into a dictatorship. But usually dictatorships are very difficult to be entrenched when people are active and when people begin speaking out and they, they, they say to the state and to a president like President Lungu that you're not going to get away with this behavior. It's ordinary citizens who stand up and resist a dictatorship. Um, when we are resisting a dictatorship, this is not to say that uh, uh, President Lungu is a bad person or President Lungu does not have any political fortunes. Uh, this is just to say that President Lungu does not have the authority to arrest people at will and, and, and um, uh, trump up treason charges for people whose offenses are not treason. Okay. So, so there is no big beef here. The only issue is that uh, President Lungu and the Zambian state must, uh, must arrest people for the right crime, okay? The, the Zambian state cannot go arresting Mr. Haga in the Hichilema for treason when what he has done is not treason. Um, now, I, uh, I have really uh, looked at President Lungu on the patriotic front. I think... They are very smart people, okay? Even, even the Zambia police, they are very smart people. They are not dull, okay? So, they, they are extremely, extremely smart. This is, this is the thing. They know very well that Mr. Haka in the Hichilema has not committed treason, okay? There is no evidence to uh, support the idea that Mr. Haka in the Hichilema has committed treason. Absolutely no evidence, okay? Uh, this, therefore, uh, brings the question, why then is Mr. Hichilema arrested? Okay? Uh, because there is no evidence. You go and look at the charge sheet, okay? And, and we are repeating the same things. Look at what the, 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 the so-called charge sheet is saying. There is no shred of evidence that Mr. Hichilema has committed treason. Okay? Uh, what they are saying is, from the elections last year to the present, uh, Mr. Hichilema was organizing to overthrow uh, the government. Uh, that is, 
that is not treason, okay? You cannot say that because a person, you cannot just allege a person was, was, was conspiring to overthrow a government and call it treason. For it to be treason, there's got to be overt acts. In other words, a person must do something positive that shows that they are uh, or trying to overthrow a government. And that is lacking in this chat sheet. Okay? So, so there is no evidence, there is no judge in Zambia who is going to convict Mr. Hichilema of treason. Absolutely no judge. I said it uh, a few days ago that even if you were to uh, find PF judges, apparently uh, some people think that some judges are PF. Even if you took this case to a PF judge and say, judge, would you convict Mr. Hichilema of treason? There is no judge in Zambia who, based on this evidence that the state apparently has, is going to convict Mr. Hichilema of treason. Now, that is what everybody knows. The police know that, the prosecutors know that, the president know that, even the patriotic front know that. That begs the question, if they all know that these charges are basically useless and trumped up, why have they arrested Mr. Hichilema? This is what makes it even more concerning. Mr. Hitchlem has been arrested not because he committed treason, okay? This is what they are saying on the charge sheet, but they have arrested him for political reasons. So they are using the law to sort Mr. Hitchlem politically. And that must not be allowed in a democratic country like Zambia, okay? So we cannot tolerate the state or the ruling party to use the state machinery to resolve political problems using state, state power, using force. Okay? If the patriotic front government has issues with, my, with Mr. Hichilema that have to do with politics, then let them resolve that politically. What is unacceptable is for them to use prosecutors, to use the police, and, and, and then um, uh, uh, come up with all these charges and, and, and charge Mr. Hichilema. It is, it is that behavior that we find accept, uh, unacceptable. It is that behavior that we find very, very absolutely concerning. And as one people, as Zambians, you do not have to be a UPND member. You just have to be a Zambian. You just have to be a citizen of the world to say this is unacceptable. Okay? Uh, so, 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 if the Patriotic Front want to confront Mr. Hitchlema politically, let them go ahead and confront Mr. Hitchlema and the United Party for National Development from a political perspective. That is agreeable. They can disagree, they can politically insult each other, they can so, say all sorts of things that they want to say against each other. But one ruling party cannot use its access to bombs, uh, tear gas and guns, and, and all those things to fix their political opponents. When the state uses a, a force at its disposal against citizens, that is a dictatorship and that is unacceptable. I'm going to take, to take a, a few questions. So apart from going on Facebook Live, what other alternatives are you employing to get the attention of the state? Uh, that's from Mr. Isaac Mwila. We uh, uh, The first thing that we, we, we need to do is, some people are suggesting that uh, Mr. Hichilema has hired very powerful lawyers in Zambia, and that's good. Uh, the lawyers that have been hired are, are, are taking uh, a, legal, a legal route, okay? So they are going to court and they're asking judges and, and they're doing a great job. Uh, but this, again, is not just a legal issue, okay? Uh, some are suggesting that because Mr. Hichilema has been charged, let's just let this issue slide and forget about it. No, because this is not a purely legal issue. This is not a purely criminal matter. Why isn't it a criminal matter? Because there is no evidence for treason. Okay, so, so, so the lawyers have a role to play in, in arguing before judges and, and, and making all the arguments that they've got to make from both. Uh, criminal and constitutional perspective. They are doing that, and we, com we commend them for that. But there is another thing here. There is another thing at stake. What is really at stake is, 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 is bigger, and the bigger issue is that President Lungu, if left unchecked, is going to entrench a dictatorship. Okay? 
And so we cannot wait for the wheels of justice, okay, before we are able to address the political issue of the rise of this dictatorship. So we cannot wait until court before we as citizens of the Republic of Zambia stand up to a dictatorship. Okay? So, 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 this dictatorship is not waiting. It is, it is coming out in full force, uh, uh, interfering with basic liberties of Zambians, and we as one people, we cannot stand by and wait. We are waiting for what? We need to act, we need to use Facebook Live, and Facebook Live is a very, very powerful media. Okay, the reason why it's social media is it's a very powerful way to get the message across and that's why we're using it. There was no radio, radio came and people started using radio to take their message across. Television came, people used television to carry the message across. Facebook Live has now come and we're using this uh, media of, of Facebook Live to address some of these issues that are happening. And just like a person who uses television is not just a television um, activist, a person who uses Facebook is not just a Facebook uh, activist. Uh, these, are, these are legitimate people that have legitimate concerns and they are addressing um, uh, these legitimate concerns. And we are using Facebook Live. However, I am still um, available to those that would want to return my services to... Um, uh, uh, bring this issue to either uh, the international governments and we are going to act for them uh, if they so choose to uh, to return us. And there are several Zambians here in Alberta, here in Canada, that are saying that they would want to um, um, hire my services and we are going to uh, follow this matter with uh, the government of Canada so that the, the, this is the thing. When a government like President Lungu's government know that the world is watching, it might help steer them in the right direction. Zambia is a sovereign country, but it is part of this committee of nations. It is part of the United Nations, it's part of the African Union, and usually when a dictatorship is about to rise and people are watching, they usually begin behaving a little bit reasonably. We do not believe that Canada is per se going to... Um, uh, interfere with internal processes in Zambia. But what we are saying is that Canada, the United Kingdom, all, all these other countries, they're going to just uh, tell the government of the Republic of Zambia that they are watching. And when many nations are watching, usually that helps steer the country towards the good. We are doing this from a very, very uh, clear passion, a passion for, for the greatness of, of the Republic of Zambia, believing that the promise of Zambia is, is, is great, and Zambia has a great future. But this future could be threatened if we do not stand together uh, to say, it's okay, you have your political differences with Mr. Hichilema, but you cannot just dream up and, and, and come up with charges uh, of treason and, and lock up a person uh, for, for as long as it will take for uh, uh, the judiciary to resolve, the judges to resolve of the matter. Uh, uh, with due respect, there is a clear, a clear judicial issue here. And we are going to wait for the judges to do whatever job they have. But there is a political issue here. And the political issue is to appeal to the president that they do not continue behaving in the manner they are behaving. Because it's absolutely unacceptable. Mr. Mvula, is it reason for someone to endanger the life of a president? And what is your opinion with the statements coming from the ruling party? Uh, is it reason for someone... You see, they are changing goalposts. Okay. Um, so if you are saying that the offense that Mr. Hichlema has committed is endangering the life of a president, then you say it, okay? And charge him with that offense. But treason is actually a very specific offense in the Zambian Penal Code, okay? Um, it's, it's very specific. It is somebody doing an overt act to overthrow a legitimately elected government, all right? And the question is, has Mr. Haga in the Hichilema done overt acts that illegally overthrew the government of the, of the Republic of Zambia? The answer is no. Why? Because the charge sheet 
contains no such overt acts. The question is, which one is the overt act that Mr. Hitchlem apparently did? Now, it is not only Mr. Hitchlem, it is four others as well. His garden boy, his childhood friend, and I think his driver. Okay? So, so common sense tells you that Mr. Hitchlema and his childhood friend and the garden boy and, um, and, and the driver, what, what overt acts did they do uh, to, to try and overthrow the government of the Republic of Zambia? Okay? There is, no, there is no evidence for treason. If it is endangerment, then charge him with endangerment so that you can go to court and, uh, and, and, and sort that issue out. Okay, so apparently they were driving on the highway together and uh, Mr. Hitchlemer's driver or Mr. Hitchlemer's convoy did not uh, uh, listen to, did not um, obey the traffic ra uh, uh, signals or something like that. That is justifiable. Let them charge him with, uh, with obstructing the presidential motorcade. Okay, that is reasonable. The video is there. Let them charge him with, with obstructing the presidential motorcade or something like that. But what is unacceptable is the idea that Mr. Hitchlema has committed treason for which the sentence for treason is death. Okay? There is no judge in Zambia who is going to condemn Mr. Hitchlema to death for the Mongo incident. Okay? So, so, so they know that. But why have they insisted on keeping him in jail? It is because they want to break him politically. Okay? And that is what the Zambian government, that is what a democratic society must not allow. Okay? That must not be allowed in a democratic state. In a democratic state, the ruling party does not use state machinery to punish its political opponents. That cannot be the case. The state can arrest people for crimes. If Mr. Hitchlem has committed a crime, then go and arrest him for the crime that he has committed, not for the crime that you believe he has committed so that you can keep him in jail for, 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 for as long as possible. Okay? If he obstructed Mr. Uh, Mr. Lungu's motorcade, then charge him with obstructing Mr. Lungu's motorcade. You cannot. The, 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 the bomber, Zambian bomber, is a bomber under law. In Zambia, Boma and Boma should mean this. It should mean that the Zambian government operates under the law. The Zambian government is not above the law. President Lungu is not above the law. Mr. Hitchlema is not above the law. There is no one who is above the law in Zambia. That being the case, the ruling party does not just make up its own criminal, uh, 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 criminal law. Criminal law has already been passed in the Zambian Penal Code. You, you, you see that? That being the case, Mr. 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 Hitchlema then must be charged with an offense that is proportionate to what he did. Dictatorships. Dictatorship always arises out of um, uh, this idea that they are trying to correct a wrong and they overdo it. And if the people are silent, it means tomorrow they are going to invade, uh, invade your house and do exactly what they've done to Mr. Hitchlema and justify it because they are Boma. No, Boma is under the law. Mr. Mr. Kanganja should operate under the law. Okay? The law is supreme in Zambia. Mr. Kanganja is not supreme. Okay, because the state has bombs and guns, the constitution makes the state subject to the law. That is, that is the argument here. The argument is not that these people are just going to be doing uh, 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 what they want. Mr. Likuka, Zambians don't make the mistake of thinking that you have to agree with people and their beliefs to defend them from injustice. The constitution itself does not make it a prerequisite that you've got to, to... Free speech is what it is, free speech. Constitutional liberties are constitutional liberties. And the state cannot violate constitutional liberties at will. That is unacceptable. Okay? And it is, it is, it is ordinary people, ordinary Zambians, that are going to um, uh, uh, fight this. Uh, Amanda Dimba Chiabi, we are all following from the UK. Exactly. So the, the Catholic Church has also issued their statement. Uh, Archbishop Telesforum Pundu has, has um, uh, issued, issued a statement, and, and they're saying the same thing. What they're saying is, is what the Zambian state is doing um, 
uh, uh, to Mr. Hichilema is symptomatic of a rise of a dictatorship. Okay, and and that is not going to be to be to be uh, acceptable. That is not uh, going to be tolerated at all. Um, Mr. Hichilema has not committed treason, and there is no judge in Zambia who is going to convict him for treason. Um, uh, the reason why he is being held is for political reasons. And since it is for political reasons, we've got to use political means to ask President Lungu to drop these charges. Uh, some are saying that President Lungu does not uh, interfere with, with judicial issues. Charging Mr. Hichilema is not a judicial issue. Okay? Um, uh, charging a person with a crime is not a judicial issue. Charging a person with a crime is something that the state does. Okay, so the state charges a person and the state takes a person to court. So in, in between the time that you are deciding to charge, so, so the decision to charge a person is a, is a, is a, is a, is a political decision. So, so the state decides. The police would decide to say, we are going to charge Mr. Hitchlema with treason. Okay, and then the state takes the matter to a judge. So... Mr. Lungu still has leverage over what the state does as far as arresting a person is concerned. Why? Because Mr. Lungu is head of the executive. Mr. Lungu has a, has a son to uphold the constitution of the Republic of Zambia. Mr. Hichilema has not son to uphold the constitution of the Republic of Zambia. In what capacity has Mr. Hichilema a son to uphold the constitution of Zambia? The, the burden is not on Mr. Hichilema. The burden is on Mr. Lungu who has son to uphold the constitution of Zambia. And so what the Constitution of Zambia tells Mr. Lungu is that he must be respectful of, his, of, of, of liberties. In other words, Mr. Lungu must not use his state power to punish political opponents. That is the bigger burden that he has. So, so the idea that Mr. Lungu does not control the judiciary, he does not control the judiciary, I agree. But Mr. Lungu controls the state. He controls how the state is going to, to charge a person. In other words, if Mr. Lungu agreed with a majority of Zambians to say that the treason charge is overcharging for Mr. Hichilema, Mr. Lungu can, can direct the state. Because who is arresting Mr. Hichilema? Mr. Hichilema is arrested in the name of the president. So, so Mr. Lungu cannot say that no... Um, uh, I am president, but I have no authority over, over, over criminal, criminal charges. That's nonsense. The, the, the president of the Republic of Zambia is in charge of the executive branch of the Republic. And he is responsible. If the police go to arrest Mr. Hichilema on trumped up charges, Mr. Lungu is responsible. There is no way he can say he does not interfere. The back stops at him. If he says that he's a good leader, he's a good Christian leader, and he wants to uphold liberties for all Zambians, then he's got to, be, to come out very clearly and say, and in fact he's a lawyer, he's got to come out very clearly and say, there is no treason with Mr. Haga in his uh, actions. There is no treason. Let this matter go to court. After a year or so, he will, uh, Mr. Hichilema will be acquitted. There is no judge who is going to convict him and, and, and kill him for, 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 for these trumped up charges. That is very clear. There is no dispute to that. Therefore, there is another reason why they are still holding him. And that's why we are holding President Lungu accountable. They are holding Mr. Hichilema for political reasons. Because it's a political inconvenience. The Constitution of the Republic of Zambia allows... Zambians to be politically inconvenient. That, that is the, the meaning of freedom. Why does it seem that the level of lawlessness among the law enforcement personnel has escalated to such alarming? Why is there an oh yes, uh, Mr. Gaponda, there is there is it has it has escalated. I agree with you. And what we need is for us to work together uh, to use uh, political pressure to let the president and the ruling patriotic front know that they are a good party and they were voted in the last election and it has very good, talented, tremendous Zambians, very passionate Zambians, but they have got to subject themselves to the rule of law. That is what we are saying. That is our cry. Okay? Our cry is not necessarily that Mr. Hichilema uh, should not be in prison or anything like that. 
Our concern is that Mr. Hichilema should not be in prison for trumped up charges. That is, that, is, that is the main concern. If Mr. Hichilema has committed a crime, then let them charge him with that crime. But treason is not that crime. Okay? And if we let this matter slide, dictatorship is going to be entrenched. Uh, what is your take on transferring of HH to Mukoveko? My take on the arrest of HH in the first place is that Mr. HH has been unfairly charged with treason. Uh, let him face the consequence of being his behavior. Victor Chama, Happy Chama, says that Mr. Aga in the Hichilema should face the consequences of his behavior. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is very, very concerning. Um, in Zambia, the state must operate within the parameters of the constitution. Okay? The constitution does not allow the state to go correcting people's behaviors. That is not what the constitution, that is not one of the things that the, 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 the constitution ha has given to the state. The state has been given the particular responsibilities. The state has no general responsibility to ensure that every Zambian behaves. A Zambian has the right to behave or misbehave. That is a constitutionally guaranteed right to either behave or misbehave, to use common sense or misuse common sense. The state has authority to charge people who commit a crime. But it does not have a general duty to make people behave. That is not the role of the state. It has not been given that right under the constitution. So if you want Mr. Haga in the Hichilema to behave, then you cannot use the levers of the state. You cannot use bombs. You cannot use tear gas. You cannot use guns to make Mr. Haga in the Hichilema behave himself. Because he has a constitutional right under the constitution to misbehave. The only time that the state gets interested in Mr. Hichilema to arrest him is if he has committed a crime. But the state in this case has trumped up charges of treason upon Mr. Hichilema in order to make him behave. And by behavior you are meaning that he does some things that are acceptable to the patriotic front government. That is nonsense. Okay. So, so, so the Patriotic Front government should not force people into complying with their policy and use the levers of the state to, to, to enforce compliance. The police can only arrest people who commit a crime and the police should only arrest a person for the crime they have committed. Okay? They should not arrest people because they are inconveniencing or they are misbehaving. And that is what Honorable Sumaili was saying the other day, that, uh, that Mr. Hichilema has not recognized President Lungu, and in every house, if you don't recognize authority, then you are in trouble. That, that, that is equally concerning, because the Zambian state does not have the authority to do all it wants, or to, to, to try and, and, and control, control behavior in a general sense. The Zambian state has no jurisdiction to do that. Okay? A Zambian like Mr. Hichilemba has the right whether to, to accept President Longo or not to accept President Longo because his accepting or non-acceptance of President Longo as president is inconsequential to the authority that President Longo has as president of the republic. Okay? So President Longo took the oath to protect the constitution of Zambia. That's exactly what he was supposed to be doing. But the, the Zambian state cannot force a Zambian to say, that you've got to recognize uh, President Lungu, you've got to recognize President Lungu, and if you don't recognize President Lungu, therefore, we are going to go search in your wardrobe and find something that we are going to charge you with, and, 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 and it's going to be treason. That is what is unacceptable. That is the issue here. Okay? In any case, when, when Mr. Hitchlema refuses to recognize President Lungu, that is a political issue. It is not a legal issue. Mr. Hichilema, when Mr. Hichilema refuses to recognize the, 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 the Mr. Lungu as president, it's a moral issue. It's a political issue. It's any issue that you can call it. But it is not a legal issue. In other words, President 
uh, Longo's status as president is unaffected by citizens who have a certain view about his presidency. It could be a political problem, it could be a moral problem, but it is not a legal problem. Therefore, you cannot go searching and f try to trump up treason in order to force um, uh, compliance. And that is, that is where the, 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 the issue here is. Uh, what is my uh, opinion on donors trying to... Well, what is my opinion? I think uh, Dr. Nevers Mumba does have his own rights and he can do whatever he wants, okay, as long as it is not a crime. He's calling for donors quite all right. The, my only concern is if he goes for donors and you go lock him up at Chimbokaila or at Mukobeko, that would be my concern, okay? So, so this is not to say that, that uh, the state has no opinions about people's behavior. The state has opinions about people's behavior, but the state cannot use uh, 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 force to, to, to enforce compliance with, with things that the law does not recognize uh, should be recognized. So, so, so Dr. Nevers Mumba has his own, he's a politician, so he has his own views, and I respect those views. The only thing here is is some people can object with Dr. Nevers Mumba's things and everything, okay? You can object, we can object, that's okay. Here is the argument. The Zambian state must not use bombs and tear gas and guns in order to enforce compliance with the wishes of the ruling Patriotic Front. That, ladies and gentlemen and fellow citizens, is the issue. That is the only issue here. Nothing, nothing, there is no... <laughs> There is no bigger issue. The only issue is that we must not use the levers of the state to punish political opponents. What changes HH, what charges, cause this guy is speaking about UPND accepting Lungu. No man is in prison as per the video. Believe you so. Yeah, so, so Mr. Hichilema apparently, I'm surprised we have to talk about this. Mr. Hichilema is in jail because he's been charged with an offense of treason. Okay? Treason. Mr. Ichilema is not in jail because, he, because of all these other political things. Apparently, they have charged him with treason. Okay? Now, there is no evidence for treason. You ask the police. You ask Mr. Kanganja himself. Let him tell us what evidence the state has about Mr. Mr. Hichilema's um, um, uh, treason. There is no evidence. Okay, they are saying that Mr. Hichilema apparently was, was organizing to go and install himself as president at the Kuomboka. And, and this is the evidence that they want to take before a judge. Here's my theory. The Zambian state, they know very well that they have no evidence um, to charge Mr. Hichilema with, uh, with treason. They don't. They don't. So, 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 because they don't, and so what they are doing is they are charging him so that they can punish him. They do not have any evidence that Mr. Hichilema committed treason. They are doing it for political reasons. The ruling patriotic front cannot use state resources state power to settle political scores. That is our concern. That is what we are saying no to. Okay? The Patriotic Front can compete with the United Party for National Development freely. They can do that. They can call each other names. But the Patriotic Front government cannot use its access to bombs and its access to, to authority it's access to tear gas to resolve its political problems with the United Party for National Development. Mr. Chizinga, this issue is about political retribution of hate. That's what it is. Then what is treason? It's there in the penal code. You can, this, in these days of Google, it's very easy. Go and search it on Google and you are going to see what treason is. Treason is somebody using unlawful means to overthrow a legitimately elected government. Unlawful means. Unlawful means. Being an opposition leader in Zambia is not unlawful. 
Okay? Standing up, for example, and asking President Lungu to resign is not unlawful. The United Party for National Development saying that they will not recognize President Lungu is not unlawful. Okay? What is unlawful is when you take a gun and you point it at the head of state and say that today Mr. Lungu renounce uh, that you are president of Zambia and I will take over. That is unlawful. That is what reason is. When somebody uses unlawful means to overthrow a legitimately elected president of Zambia. Okay? So Mr. Lungu is legitimately elected. But the question is, was Mr. Hitchlema using unlawful means to ask President Lungu to resign. That is where the issue is. Okay, what was unlawful about his activities? Nothing. Okay, they are saying that he went to Mongo to try and become president. Who goes to Mongo to become president? Who goes to the Kuomboka to become president? Okay, that is even more serious. And you expect, these, these are things that the police apparently are going to lead before a judge. And which judge is going to believe it, right? You're going to go before a judge, before a high court judge in Zambia and tell them that you've brought Mr. Hichilema and you've charged him with treason because he was conspiring to go and um, inaugurate himself as president in Mongo at the Kuomboka ceremony. Mr. Bright Hamsonde, please explain this. Is it not the practice of courts to set the date for the next court hearing? We were surprised that the court did not set a date for the next court session. Look. If this thing just goes purely as a court issue, it will take time. And I'm not going to be commenting on, on, on the internal judicial processes and procedure in Zambia. Uh, that is not my concern here. It's likely to take a very, very long time. Which means Mr. Hichilema, going by that, might be in remand for a very long time. But here's the difference we can make by coming together and, and, and make it, making it very clear to President Lungu that uh, he cannot get away with this, um, that might lead to dropping of charges. What is needed is to drop the charges of treason, okay? Uh, because they know, they themselves know uh, that they have, uh, they have no evidence. So it's easy for us to prevail upon them, to ask them to drop the charges. And in fact, the Patriotic Front people themselves, you see, you Patriotic Front people, you know, you are in power today. That is exactly what happened to the MMD. They were in power, they've left power. UNIP was in power, they've left power. The, Patri the Patriotic Front government is likely to, 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 to not to continue being in power forever. So you are doing yourselves a service by being consistent to the rule of law and by uh, advocating that President Lungu acts reasonably and stops using state resources to fix uh, political opponents. It is encouraging to hear this from a patriotic Zambian based abroad. Where is Lars? I think Lars does a, does a phenomenal job. There's been issues here and there, but uh, they're doing a good job, and uh, we hope that they'll be able to uh, speak out if they can. But we all have a duty to do, and we're going to continue speaking out. It's not only about pointing the gun, but what did he do at Kuomboka? What if the motorcade was overturned because Mr. Hichlemas, again, Mr. Msoni, you don't, Mr. Msoni Jr., you're asking uh, about the motor vehicle. I agree with you. Then charge Mr. Hichilema with, uh, with the motor vehicle. Okay, not treason. All right? Not treason. Um, continue educating the ignorant masses, says Mary Akins. Thank you. Mr. Malinga, oh, Chonta Malinga, uh, even murdering the president is not treason, it's murder. The guy who shot Jeff Kennedy were not charged with treason. Um, I don't know, I can't offer an opinion on that. Um, so we, 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 we remain open to continue advocating and, and we hope to uh, come back again sometime. Well, we, it looks like it's going to be a very, a very full week and uh, for those in this jurisdiction where we, where I practice as a lawyer, and if there is any need for advocacy, I am willing to, uh, to act from that perspective to bring visibility to this issue. Mr. Chongo, Mr. Mosha, please excuse the dunderheads blabbering nonsense. 
is the state in order to remove Mr. Ichilema? I don't know. I'll leave that to the lawyers in Zambia to argue that out about whether it should be in Mukoveko or in Chimbokaila or something like that. Um, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And um, we look forward to talking to you again. And hopefully uh, there will be a little bit more that we can hold on to. And we hope that by the next time that we come together, uh, Mr. Haga in the Hitchlemer's charges will have been dropped so that we continue uh, dealing with, with, with the political issues and not um, uh, uh, using the law in order to fix our political opponents. Uh, Tandi Wedenis, seeing that there is no evidence if anything happened to H.H. while in prison, who would be held accountable? I don't know. I don't know who would be held accountable. Maybe the state? It's difficult to answer that. Lungu is the commander of the armed forces, so he cannot say he knows what's happening. Mr. Temple, please, people, this case is before the courts of law. Why can't we give the judiciary to do its work? Mr. Isaac Temple is asking whether we should just let the, uh, the, the judiciary to do its work. Uh, you need to create a clear distinction here uh, between, between when a matter is in court and before judges and the, um, the, the state's role, okay? The, the, the objective of the Patriotic Front government, they are very, very clever. They want to arrest a person, charge him with treason, and then, and then surrender him to the court process, which takes years. Okay? And Zambians are saying no. Dictators usually use the law. Okay? So, so you can't just charge a person with treason and then say, I, and then wash your hands and say, I've, I've washed my hands now, it's now before judges, let the law take, take its course, um, uh, for a year or two. That is where we come in as a people together and we say the government of the Republic of Zambia cannot make trumped up charges, charge a person and then say that it's, uh, the matter is in court. No, no, no. The Zambian, we cannot allow the Zambian state to do that. If the Zambian state did that, then it's going to do that to anyone. They're going to come to you and, and, and say that you've committed armed robbery, okay? Lock you up and say that uh, the, 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 the matter is before the courts of law. And you'll be locked up forever for charges that, that, are, that are just not, uh, not fair. So there is a law here that we have. And the law is to tell the Zambian state that you cannot do um, what you are saying you, 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 you're going to do as far as charging innocent people with these big crimes like treason. Okay? And we gave way to the president. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Sikalumbi, of, of course, if, if the issue is not giving way to the president, then let that, let a charge reflect that. Okay? Let not giving way to the president become treason because that does not make sense. And it does not even make sense for President Lungu either. It does not make sense to Mr. Kanganji. It does not make sense to even the prosecutors. Because which prosecutor? Look, they, they, they had a test uh, several weeks ago where they took Mr. Hichlema to court for, for using insulting language. And the arresting officer himself lied. And you expect a prosecutor in a high-profile treason case is going to use that witness? on a stand in the high court and convict Mr. Hitchlema of treason uh, based on, on, on an arresting officer who basically lied, according to Honorable Mulalami. Um, uh, he, he says, he says the, the, the gentleman who took the stand, an honorable policeman, lied on the stand in the magistrate court. The same guy who was arrested Mr. Hitchlema for treason. So, so don't be naive. Mr. Lungo is not naive. The Patriotic Front are not naive. They know that there is no treason case here. 
making the continued incarceration of Mr. Hichilema even much more concerning because it is not a legal issue. They are holding him for political reasons. They don't like him politically. President Lungu cannot be fixing people he doesn't like by using state power. No. Honorable Kampiongo cannot be using state power to deal with people they don't like. Chances are, when you are president, you've got haters. You know, ordinary people. No president, just ordinary Mishanga Sela. They have got haters. So when you are president, you've got double that. You've got a lot of haters. But the constitution puts restraints and constraints around you so that you act only according to the constitution that you have sworn to uphold. And when the president is not upholding the constitution, ordinary citizens have a duty to call the president to that. That's why you are president. Okay? Mr. Ngosa, you sent you, saw what happened. Mind you, H.H. Chagualungu is the president. May one place in the way. Okay, so this is, this is the myth that people have that, uh, that uh, anyone who plays around the president can be shot and things like that. <laughs> Zambia is not a dictatorship. Thank you very much. Um, and so we'll see you sometime. And we hope that by the time we have another live broadcast of this nature, Mr. Hitchlem will, will be free. If not, he carries. Uh, we carry him in our hearts and hopefully that he will be free so that he can compete freely um, in the politics of Zambia and that Zambia does not slide into a dictatorship. And to be very clear, Zambia is not going to slide into a dictatorship as long as people like you and me are there um, uh, as vanguards of Zambian democracy. Zambian democracy is not going to be protected by Mr. Lungu alone. It's going to be protected by all of us, all of us doing our role. And thank you very much. God bless you and God bless our republic. Thank you. This is going to be available shortly. It's a long one, but how else can you explain some of these things? Um, but it will be on, on Facebook and hopefully um, uh, you, can, uh, you can look at it and listen to it. A very long though. God bless you and God bless our republic.